Today we are creating collage paper using some musical manuscript and an old book thrown out by the library. We're going to start by using watercolour to create the background colour. I like to use a couple of layers of watercolour and I use a hairdryer to dry each layer. Otherwise, the water on the brush might go through the paper. So you do need to make sure you dry it in between each layer. Once you've prepped your paper and it's dry, I'm going to start to rip up my papers by hand. I enjoy the uneven edges and the random nature of it all. Stick them down with a glue stick. And when you've finished with that glue stick, remember to pop the lid on it so that it doesn't dry out. I am trying to space the papers over the page evenly. When this is complete and dry, I'll go over them with some more watercolour paint, soaking the paper in beautiful colour. Once you've done this and again it's dry, you can start using a stencil with some acrylic paint. This can be done using a dabber. Lots of paint may result in it taking a long time to dry, but it might also result in some great and gorgeous textures. So play around with it and have some fun. It is interesting to see the manuscript peek through. It makes for some really interesting textures and interesting paper. You can see here that I'm using a different stencil and I've included white acrylic paint on it. So again I'm going to paint over this when it dries with some beautiful watercolour paint to create these incredible textures and these incredible patterns. I'm going for a tearly green look in my page so most of my colours complement that. We've obviously got the greens and the blues and some yellows, but the white acrylic paint absorbs those when I use the watercolour on top. And voila, we have another piece of beautiful collage paper ready to go. 